So Betty's mother told Betty, Betty Ann, never be afraid to speak your mind. And and Carlin, you have a story that relates to that, which so perfectly illustrates the importance of speaking up. It's very true. I don't know if we would be sitting here if Bessie didn't tell Betty on a regular <laughs> basis, never be afraid to speak your mind. It's a wonderful refrain for us to use with our children. Mm-hmm. So I was dealing with um, a producer who had put together a little clip, sent it me and said, we're doing this series on sex education. Can we use it? And in the clip was misinformation. So my knee jerk immediately is like, oh, you know, obviously you haven't like watched any of our videos. You haven't read sex for one. You haven't done your homework. And you want to just delete the email or you want to write something snippy back. And I sat there and I thought, you know, I'm an educator. Mm -hmm. And it's time to educate. So I wrote back exactly what was wrong. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, for me, I take uh, Betty's legacy and the guardian of Betty's legacy, that role is really important to me. And so I can't agree for these reasons. And I never heard from them for several weeks. Mm-hmm. Then she just sent me an email with a link. They completely redid the piece based on the correct information that I had given them. Mm-hmm. And I thought in that moment, it's so easy for us just to ignore people, ghost people, say something snippy, just, you know, ignore them. And I think it's something we're taught as women. If it's not the way we want, we just walk away. But, you know, staying Mm -hmm. there and speaking my truth, it was so liberating. And now there's a piece of media with correct sex information. Yes. Bravo. Bravo, Carlin. It's so hard as women, I think, because we're raised to be quiet. Right. And if you add on the discipline of, you know, you should be seen and not heard uh, as women, it's so hard for us to speak up. Um, It's hard to speak up about our preferences for sexuality when when we're with a partner. We don't even have language for it. And I think self-love and independent orgasm supports us in being able to speak up. It's the compass. Mm hmm. And that's why without sexual freedom, there's no sense of self. So with my compass of orgasm and pleasure, right, Mm -hmm. I can be contrary because I think that's a big thing, not even speaking your truth, but what happens when your truth goes against what someone else has done? Mm -hmm. I want to please them. I don't want to ruffle feathers. I don't want to rock the boat. Rock the boat. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Ruffle feathers. Betty made a career. Out of swimming upstream, being opposite. She was, she'd always say, Oh, Carlin, I'm the turd in the punch bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and that changes, it changes the world. Well, because truth begets truth, right? If I speak my truth and I just say what I think and feel, then everyone around me feels more relaxed because then mm-hmm. they can just say what they think and feel. Mm-hmm. And you know what? None of us are completely right. The truth is somewhere kind of in the middle. Mm -hmm. So let that be a guiding principle. Yes. Never be afraid to speak your mind. And if your truth goes against what everyone thinks and believes, just speak it. This whole thing where we all have to agree and we, no, as long as it's a truth and it's not said with any kind of vitriol, right? It comes from a place of abundance and self-love. I think you'll Mm -hmm. always be heard. 